Ladies and gentlemen, we, we're in the dyno room and we've got a Gen 1, this is actually a 2022 model, but a Gen 1 C-Force 400 on the dyno. And we are working on the tune for the C-Force 400. There's been uh, more people than I realize that really w would like a tune for their C-Force 400. So we're gonna be working on that and working with Performance by Surcap, Mr. JP. We will uh, bring you along for the process. And in this video, you're gonna get to see uh, a few stock pulls. We'll show you the results. Then we will, uh, of course, once we're through, it's gonna take us a while. We gotta sit there, go through the software with JP and just get this thing running in tip top shape so that we can get the exhaust temps down we'll get it more efficient we'll add more horsepower and of course more torque there's a few other little things that we like to do to get the best out of these cf motos so yeah what we've been doing up to this point is we have to hook up to the injector and that helps us to get our rpm reading we also have to tap into the exhaust to get the AFR reading so we can hook up our O2 sensor and you know we have to leave that one in there this the OEM sensor hook up our own and then that gets us our AFR reading as well so we've got our dyno set up ready to go for the weight of the C-Force 400 in a rider and we'll be ready to put some heat in this engine. We'll get our stock, our baseline runs, and then we will start working on the tune throughout the day and the coming days until we get this thing perfected for you. We've been warming up the engine, getting our baseline runs, and uh, documenting all that, and working with JP, we're gonna be adding some power. Also with our MSC tune, we highly recommend doing this air box mod, and we're gonna kind of show you how, to, how it should look when it's done. But all we did was remove the air box lid, and if you'll notice the, the air has to try, I'll take this. The air has to come in through the inlet here and travel down this tube. And then it goes into the, uh, of course, through the air filter and before it ever goes into the intake of the throttle body and all. What we need to do here is cut that tube out and allow all the air to be able to easily come right in it's going to give us some more power because it's going to have better airflow. All right, now we'll simply clean that up. And we'd like to thank Mr. Billy from Vati Barico for this tip here. It definitely helps with the intake and flow of the air. Now we're just putting our air box lid back on. One eternity later. We've got the MSC tune ready and we're going to show it to you. We're going to crank it back up, run it. We'll show it to you compared to the stock run. We've been working on a while. JP with performance by Surcap and Joel have been at it all day while I've been off working on some other things. And Joel is ready to run this thing and move on to the next ATV that we're tuning, but uh, go ahead, Joel. All right, y'all, let's check it out. Let's see. So we've got in red. The red and yellow line is the MSC tune for the C-Force 400. And boy, what a difference. Our peak to peak. 
uh, difference. On the stock was 22.8, and then with the MSC tune, we got 26.3 peak to peak horsepower. And then also on the dyno torque, we went from 430 to 467. Now let's take a look at the graph here and let me make it display. There we go. So as you can see, just such a big difference right here through the mid range. And as it's pulling through, just doing an awesome job all the way through the top end. The torque as well, just way more torque off the punch. And you can also see it in the video if you, if you rewind a little bit and see, you know, how long it takes to get these tires going on the dyno with the stock tune. I mean, it is a C-Force 400, but I'm super pumped that we were able to get this kind of power out of the 400. That is really impressive. So super nice. And we'll, for the fun of it, we'll show you the little drag race animation here. The blue car is going to be the MSC tune. It takes them a little bit, but you can see the tune pulling away. And how about we show you that in real life? We're about to unhook this thing. We're going to run it up against a bone stock C Force 400. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's go. So I'm on the stock one. Joel is on the tune one. I wound out screaming at 65. Joel hit 68 miles an hour. He had to tap the brake so he wouldn't run into me. He might would have got faster. Uh, Joel, I guess. <clears throat> All right. All right. Like, yeah, I mean, you tore out and left me. The, the one with the stock tune that has such a stall off the takeoff. Wow, dude, that was crazy. So at least three more miles per hour on the top end. We've got four more horsepower, more torque. And as you can see, I mean, that's the most drastic difference I've seen in a drag race between the tune and the non-tune four-wheeler. Um, so there you have it, guys. Uh, you be the judge, camera don't lie. So you can get this tune at MainStreetCycle.com. This is the Team MSC tune. Uh, also developed in partnership with Performance by Surcap. We work with nothing but the best here at Main Street Cycle, and we want to give you the best as our customers. So there you have it. <clears throat> Go to MainStreetCycle.com. I also have a link to this tune down in the description of this video. So anyways, we're going to uh, clean these jokers back up, and we got another tune we're about to start working on. So let's get after it. So God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.